Good afternoon. I'm going to make this short since the Chicago Bears took off pretty soon against the Patriots. Yeah. <laughs> My fellow students, beloved family, and Milligan staff, on this great day I stand before you on the shoulders of giants. I started this journey 13 years ago, and because the great men and women in my life believed in me, I finally arrived. My journey wasn't easy. My motivation came and went with the seasons. Motivation's a funny thing. You may discover that sometimes what matters more than what is said is who says it. Now there's a very good reason it took me 13 years to earn this degree. I started off by rejecting numerous football scholarships I received in high school. I followed that up by drinking my way out of ISU. It then hit rock bottom when I flunked out of Richland Community College. Because of my many mistakes and misfires, I came to believe that it was easier not to try than it was to try and fail. Now comes the hard part. Despite my poor attitude, and numerous failures. My younger brother, Keith, still continued to put me on a pedestal. <coughs> In fact, he once told me that he was amazed at the amount of potential that I could waste and still end up on top. <laughs> like so many things in my life that came too easy, I took what Keith had said for granted. However, life teaches us valued lessons, and I learned mine soon thereafter. On April 13, 2005, I received a phone call that my little brother, Keith William Ryan, never made it home after a night out with his friends. To this day, we still don't know what happened. All we know is that he is gone. I wish my brother could be here today to share in this victory and to know that I've stopped wasting my potential. In the beginning of the speech, I mentioned that this was a great day. It truly is. I want everyone here to remember this day. I want you to remember the cool winter air. I want you to remember the warm smiles of your friends and your family. But most importantly, I want you to remember that little flutter that's inside your heart. The flutter that's surrounded by the overwhelming feeling of greatness growing inside your chest. It's almost so great that it can take your breath away. I want you to embrace this feeling. I want you to crave this feeling when it starts to fade. This feeling is something that we all need to become addicted to. This feeling is what true success feels like. It's a combination of pride and joy that resonates throughout each and every person in here today. For most people, moments like these are few and far between. The day you marry your true love. Holding your newborn baby for the first time. Watching that baby graduate. Behind each of these true successes is passion, and you can't achieve this feeling of pride and joy without passion. If you ask someone you deem to be successful what they're passionate about, it won't be the things that they own, but rather the dreams that they've achieved. Now you might ask, how do I achieve my dreams? The answer is simple, but it's not for the weak. We must be strong and we must be true, but over all else, we must dare to be great. Looking back at that time in my life when my brother put me on a pedestal, I realized that I let my failures control my future. I really was too afraid to try. Never again will I let the fear of failure stand in the way of my dreams, and neither should you. If you take anything away from this talk, let it be that in the end we won't regret the mistakes that we made in life, but rather the opportunities that we missed because we were too afraid to try. To my fellow students, beloved family, I wish you the best at chasing what dreams may come. Thank you, and bear down, Chicago.